Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here. I'm doing like a on eye swatch first impression review kind of of the um, ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette. So this palette is a part of their monochrome series. This launched June 26th, I want to say, um, and it was $12. So they have, I don't know how many palettes in their monochrome collection, like at least five, I want to say. I don't know, but they're $12 and they look like this. Um, this is what the palette looks like. So it literally is all yellow shades. And I don't want to get into my review for it. I want you guys to see the swatches and everything. And then I will hop back on and I will let you guys know what I think about it and the colors and everything. But yeah, so that's really it. And stay tuned for the swatches. All right, guys, so I am just priming my eyes here. I'm using the MAC 24-hour um, eye base. And then I am also going to go ahead and set that primer with just a light skin tone shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. Okay, guys, so here is the palette. Um, I'm just going to go ahead with my NYX blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Stinger and I applied this one about three times you can see right here on the first application it was pretty sheer so I went in a couple more times and just tried to build it and blend it but it's just a very light shade. I don't know if it was because I put it over the white base or what, but this is basically what it is looking like. Alright guys, so I wasn't really happy with the way the shadow was performing over the 24 hour eye base, so I went ahead and used the Makeup Revolution concealer on the other side. Okay guys, so I am just going in with that shade Stinger again on a NYX blending brush and I just wanted to show you guys the comparison of the 24 hour eye base and the concealer. I do think the concealer is picking up the color better. I did build it up the same on both eyes just so it was even. Okay guys, so I'm just going in with the shade Sunburst. I did reprime my eyes, so the left side does have 24 hour eye base set with the powder. The right side is just concealer. You guys can see that the shadow isn't picking up really well. Mind you, this is using the shadow dry with a dry Morphe flat shader brush. But when I move on to the concealer side, it picked up immediately. Sorry, I'm out of frame. <laughs> um, but it picked up immediately, and it looks like almost two different shadows. So next, I wanted to show you guys how the shadow performs wet. So I'm just using my MAC Fix Plus and the same Morphe Flat Shader Brush. So you guys can see that even on the 24-hour eye base side wet, did perform a little bit better but the concealer side just overall looked better it was more metallic it grabbed better there was less fallout it just looks better over concealer <laughs> all right guys so i'm just going in with the shade sweet spot next on my nyx blending brush and you guys can see how the shadows perform. Again, primers are still the same. Left is the 24-hour eye base set with the powder. And the right is just a concealer that I allowed to dry down. Okay, guys. So I am going in with the shade Dandy on a dry Morphe flat shader brush. Again, you guys can see that it's not really picking up on the 24-hour eye base side. Um, I don't know what was going on, but <laughs> on the concealer side, it picked up really well. And literally, it looks like if I wet the brush on the concealer side.
but both of them are dry. So. All right, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys the shades wet as well. So wet, the primer side did look better, but it still didn't look as good as the side with concealer. Okay guys, so here is the pressed glitter palooza. I didn't swatch it on my eyes because glitter tends to irritate my eyes and I didn't want that to happen with me having to do the rest of the video. So um, here you'll see the top is without glitter glue and the bottom is with the NYX glitter glue. Alright guys, so here is the shade Queen B. It's a really pretty bronzy yellow shade. And I'm still using my flat Morphe shader brush. On the primer side, it's not picking up bad, but you can see on the concealer side, it's picking up way better. And this is dry. I did just realize I forgot to do this one wet, but it is what I'm wearing in the beginning, guys. Sorry. Alright guys, so I'm going in with the shade Totally Buggin'. I am just using a BH Cosmetics blending brush. Um, yeah, you guys can see the primer side right now versus the concealer side. I did build up the primer side, I want to say like three or four times. Um, it's a pretty color. It's just a mustardy yellow, a little bit deeper than like Sweet Spot and Stinger, but not very deep at all. Okay, guys, so I'm going in with the shade O Behave. It's just a really pretty like bright yellow, <laughs> of course. Um, and this one... On the primer side, I did have to build it up to get like a good intensity, um, but it blended out really well. You guys will be able to see that on the concealer side, it kind of grabbed and was pigmented right off the bat. So I personally would recommend using concealer for this specific palette just in general. Okay guys, so now we're going in with the last shade, which is Buzzkill. It's just a mid-toned yellow-brown color. Um, on the primer side, it was harder to get full opaque color. I did have to build it up. This, I think, is three times. Um, and on the concealer side, you can see it just grabbed immediately and it blended out really pretty and easily. So again, I think concealer with this palette is your best bet. I know some palettes you need to use primer. Some palettes work better with concealer and this is definitely a concealer palette. Okay guys, so there were all the swatches. Um, my eyes after that were literally on fire, you guys. Like, I just could not deal with it. Um, but... So you guys seen that they, the shadows definitely perform different with unset concealer versus primer and powder, which is on this eye, and then unset concealer was on this eye. Um, I have a couple critiques of this palette, okay. So, it's all yellow. I know everyone has been like wanting an all yellow palette, looking for an all yellow palette, yes. This palette is not going to show up or perform well on anybody much darker than me. And I'm about a MAC NC25 to an NC30. Um, and it just, it's not. Because when I was doing this eye look, I had to like build and build and build. Which I feel like is an issue with a lot of yellows. I think that this would have been a perfect palette if they put a little bit more dimension in it because like this shade, that shade, and this shade which are the mattes and probably even this shade are not going to show up that well on deeper skin. This one will show up well but it will be more of like a transition and this is the deepest shade in the palette which is Buzzkill. Um, in order for me to get the dimension that I wanted in my eye, I did have to go in with another palette 
and blend like a warmer dark brown onto my outer crease out here which I don't mind incorporating other palettes I just wish that there was more dimension in the palette so that more skin tones could use it but as you guys can see if you use a concealer unset the palette is bomb if you use a primer and set your pow your primer with a powder it is patchy and it doesn't I don't the shimmers don't grab and they don't blend and everything well um that being said I did order two of these palettes so I'm going to be giving one away to you guys if you guys want to try it out it's a really pretty yellow palette it's pretty on its own but it's also really pretty paired with other palettes so I mean if you're in the deeper shade range I think if you did like a lighter concealer and built it up and incorporated another palette it would work for you and if you're on the lighter spectrum I think it'll work for you on its own um this giveaway is in the U.S. only I'm sorry guys um but it is in the U.S. only and I am going to be running it for a week so till next Monday today is July 1st so that will be what July 8th I think <laughs> yes July 8th um, that's when I will close the giveaway now the issue is is that I don't have the palette to show you guys the giveaway one I only have mine that I used and that is because I got my order from ColourPop today and I ordered two, I don't know if it's going to focus, but if it will, I ordered two uh -huh, pa Honey palettes and they only sent me one. So I know ColourPop's um, team will fix it, so as soon as I get it, which I don't think it's going to take a week, mine took three days, I ordered on Friday. Yeah. Or Thursday and I got it on Monday. So I think it should be here well before then. And then as soon as I get it, I will ship it to you guys. So for the giveaway, you guys will need to subscribe to my channel. And then also follow me on Instagram and comment your Instagram name. I will have my Instagram down below, but it is it is <laughs> the same as my channel so autumn underscore Trelise and that's it I also picked up these um, pigments which I will post some pictures of swatches and those on the eyes I'll do an eye look with them on my Instagram so if you guys want to see those head to my Instagram and if you guys want to win the palette again subscribe to my channel um, follow my Instagram and then comment your Instagram name on this video down below and then I will choose next Monday and I will ship it out to you so yeah overall I think it's a good palette I don't think it's amazing but I do think yellow palettes a yellow palette in general would be hard to make just because yellow doesn't work with every skin tone and that's just I'm I'm a makeup artist I've done makeup for nine years and that's just my opinion you can make it work but it is harder to work with for every skin tone so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching I hope you guys like the video let me know what you guys think about the swatches and if you guys picked up this palette and what is your favorite palette from their monochrome series so yes I love you guys God bless you bye